Hey, it's Cosmo here. Um, I'm just going to give a little uh, tutorial on how to use a multimeter to test uh, body voltage. Um, but I'm by no means a, an expert on the topic, but uh, I've been using it to test my body voltage um, in the case of grounding. Um, so the first thing is um, I've got a Unity model UT136B multimeter. It's uh, definitely an entry level multimeter, but it serves my purposes so far. <clears throat> it was only like 25 bucks on, I think, eBay is where I got it. It got sent from China, so it was ridiculously cheap. Um, so the first thing, <clears throat> you've got your multimeter here, um, and then you've got, uh, it came with two leads, one red lead, which has um, the electrode here, and then one black lead which has a black electrode as well. So, and then um, you have to plug them in to some of these holes, but you might not know which holes to plug them into. For body voltage, if you check this uh, measurement instruction out, you can see um, you first connect one end of the red wire to the jack of the body voltage meter or our multimeter. You need to look for this string of symbols and you connect that one to the red lead. So I've got the red and if I see I've got that string of symbols there. So this one goes here. And then if I look again the black one has to be connected to the com. And so if I go there, there's com. So I connect it here and um, most of the multimeter functions that I've used so far, just check, checking voltage, I think is the main one. Testing batteries to see how much juice is left in the batteries. Um, this is the setting that I've been using. And uh, to test body voltage, it's uh, AC uh, voltage. So what you want to do is turn the multimeter on. And I'm turning it up to the V with the squiggly line. That means AC. And if you look at the display, um, you'll see the AC symbol there. So you know you're on the right units. Um, what I do is I, uh, it's on auto, which is fine. I'm just going to put it off auto so that it's detecting um, one digit of, of uh, voltage in the tens um, column. And then... Um, it's got tens, uh, hundred, and thousandths of a volt. Um, so I can detect how many volts my body uh, is storing up, as well as how many, like, they're millivolts. So I'll, I'll get into that in a second. Um, by the way, this is a grounding mat. This is an earthing mat. And um, this is what we're going to use to... To, to show that the body voltage goes down during an earthing session. So the wire is basically kind of messy here, but I've actually connected the, the wire, the end of the wire to the, the earthing mat to another wire using uh, gator clips. And this wire runs out to the, the spike in the backyard where um, I've actually put a a rod down into the earth to to get my free electrons. Um, so yeah, that's what that's what that wire is. So this gra this grounding mat here, this earthing mat, is connected to um, a ground outside that I've placed. All right. So in order to test my body voltage, I actually need a reference point. And in electronics, as far as I've become aware, the elect the uh, the reference point is the ground and the ground is the earth so I'm about um, I think I'm just gonna put the the camera down here oh, I'll be able to show you here it's dark but you can see so I'm just connecting one of these leads and it doesn't matter which lead to the ground I'll to connect it to this one here so you can see because this wire goes out to the ground um, and uh, 
It's a bit awkward here, but here we go. So now that lead is actually connected to the ground, which is um, connected from this wire out the window and into a rod in my backyard, into the earth, under a cedar tree. Alright, um, so now that we have a, a reference for the multimeter, and the reference is zero, okay, because the ground is zero, um, now if I touch this red lead, this electrode here, you're going to see my body voltage. And it's really, like, I mean, for an office, it's not bad. Wait, what if I unplug... Yeah. Okay, so if I unplug my laptop, so my laptop is now ungrounded, um, my body voltage goes up. And if I actually put my hand near my computer, like, I'm not even touching the computer, and the body voltage is jumping. Watch when I actually touch the computer. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go into... Yeah, here we go. Now when I touch the computer, look how many volts of energy I'm somehow putting into my body. 23 volts. That is 23,000 millivolts. That's ridiculous. Like, that's got to be unhealthy. But I noticed it's because it's connected to my Ethernet cable. We don't have Wi-Fi in this house. Wi-Fi, so um, we use Ethernet cable. So when I touch it now, it goes up to two point, almost 2.5 volts, but not 22 volts or 23 volts. But like when I plug it in to the Ethernet cable, for some reason... Uh, maybe you guys can t explain it to me in the in the uh, forum or in the, the YouTube video um, comment section. But yeah, I mean, why is my voltage going up to 23 just because it's connected to the Ethernet cable? Um, okay, so back to testing my voltage. I'm going to put it back on. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh -huh. There you go. Back to the original setting of... Um, yeah, so... Now I'm going to touch the grounding pad and you're going to see my voltage, body voltage drops. Drops to 0 0.042 volts. So, um, yeah, that's four hundredths of a volt, if my math is correct, which it might not be. But it's 42 millivolts in any case. Um, I have heard that 20 millivolts is kind of like where you, where you want to be. That's negligible. But zero is ultimately where you want to be. But if if like if I take my hand off and I'm up to yeah almost 400 millivolts, 40 millivolts is much better for my body voltage. But even better than that, like when I'm touching this mat, I'm actually getting free electrons from the earth, and uh, that's putting out inflammation fires in my body. Uh, like on the long term, that's that's what you want. You just want to be grounded, like, all the time, over the long haul, so that your body gets used to being connected to the earth, and that's how we've evolved. So, that's what I'm planning on doing. Um, I think that's pretty much it, as far as my little tutorial goes on, on how to test my body voltage with a multimeter.